My name is Emerson Gill, and I have been asked to come here and share what I know about developing better ways to think, better ways to feel, better ways to act. And what is beautiful about me coming in front of you guys this morning is, on many levels, I was once like you, playing football and using football as my medium to satisfy a lot of the feelings that I had to express myself. In many ways, like sometimes I thought that people were not listening to me. Uh, sometimes people were listen, talking to me and I was not listening to them. But once I got on a football field, it's a whole different operation. I became a part of a team. I fit into the parts of that team and functions in the parts that I was needed. So we're going to use the principle of football to help us to understand how to develop self-esteem, and we got what we're going to call it personal skill development or human okay. mental lockdown in black youth and can be attributed as principal causes for poor life skills development and the feeling of inadequacy resulting in low self-esteem. This condition, along with a lack of political will to comprehensively address the causes, has contributed to our current experience in the streets of Belize. It is our society, and if we refuse to initiate programs which will fuel social productivity, the problems will worsen. Let's look at that in the context of our condition in the streets of Belize. How many of you what I'm saying is, if we are not prepared to stand up for something on principle of justice and on truth and on right, we're not going to go anywhere. Right now, we're suffering because several things has happened. You, you guys understand elections, voting, and all of that? I want to try to break it down quickly. Uh, democracy. You know what democracy means, guys? Take a shot. Anybody, no, no questions, no answer is foolish. What does democracy mean? Anybody know? Okay. Democracy means it's ruled by the people. We live in a democracy in Belize, right? Question to you guys right now. Are we ruling in this country? Are we ruling in this country, my brother? Is anybody hearing us in this country when we complain? Hear you? Not even the police hear you when you complain. But more than that, since democracy is ruled by the people, and you're telling me nobody to hear you, something is wrong with democracy. Or something is wrong with how we are realizing democracy. Right? Let's look at this and break this down. Your parents vote, anyone on the vote yet? Nobody in your vote, I'm not old enough. I'm not old enough directly, but I'm not going to be prepared for vote, right? Uh, your parents vote. So, democracy starts with a vote, right? For a person who represents vote for. her, us. When that, when you vote for that politician, you make a vow.
with yourself to give this man your vote because he promises to do services on your welfare and well-being, right? So the person that you vote for is supposed to take care of Supposed to take care of your well-being. No. Our government is supposed to provide education, housing, culture, sports, and environmental protection, entertainment, jobs, health. But is this going to happen if we do not ask for it? Is this going to happen if we do not advocate to get it? Is it? You say no? Anybody else agree with the brother over there? Okay, I agree with the brother over there. It's not going to happen if you don't advocate for it. But you have to be prepared to advocate this. And I'm gonna okay. you hear how quick you're gonna give me this? MS-13 is not the only one in a Honduras and Salvador and Nicaragua and places. MS-13 is a, is a reaction to the politics of the country. MS-13 they represent what advocates say, what people say, I need to get a job, I need to house my family, I need to clothe my family, I need to eat. Okay, I'm waiting for you to stay here, you see how to say it so quick? All of that are manifestation. Of needs that is not met. Okay? All of this, all of those set of needs. The Hoover's Gang, the PIB, the, the 107, the 72s, the 103, the 30s, the Locos. Crips, Bloods, all of that are manifestations of your needs that is not being met, my brothers. The needs that is not being met for you guys is the same things here. Education, housing, culture, sports, environment, entertainment, jobs, health. That's why we behave the way we do. That's why we don't listen to nobody, you know why? If, if, if I never take my time with you guys right now, would you guys be listening with me? Huh? If I never take my time with you right now, if I never tell you no, I don't mean a baller. If I never tell you no, that I am just like Ono, Ono you know, never listen to me right now? No. I'm sure of that. <laughs> you understand? You understand how you tell me that? If I never impress you with something, like this you're gonna say, you guys would have already left the room. You understand? Like the brother is the first one. Okay? Because, because he don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me either. But it's obvious there is something that I'm saying that is interesting. That is interesting to you. So I thank you for saying that, brother. It's, it's interesting for me to hear that you're interested in what I have to say. That's that interests me, and then I want to share a little bit more, you know. I was telling you something else. If, if these needs are not met, which is over here, and that are the reason why we have this, then what are we supposed to do? We have to lower education here. Lower the education here? Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. I mean, not the education here, the house. No, the cars have been there. Okay, that's one of the ideas. How you unload the cars? <laughs> Wait, hold on. This answer something we're good. How you unload the cars? <laughs> no. Remember change. Remember change not happen externally. Change happen internally. Okay? So if you could think that if the cars are living Lord will help you, then you have also thought about how to lower it. Because that thought don't come by itself. That thought comes connected to something else. So take it a little deeper, brother, because I'm sure you have an answer. Take it to the point where when you thought about lowering the cost for living, what else did you think about?
if we can be honest and productive, if we can develop self-esteem, if we can develop some better skills for human development, for your human development, then we have to approach it in our least systematic kind of way. Again, I want to ask you guys a question. What is it that the most compelling question that you have will concern you right now?